man, I feel just like a rock star. Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR 9 season mode. Let's play Lace Gentlemen right now. I'm about to do race 6 of 36. Going to Martinsville Speedway, Martinsville, Virginia for the running of the Goodies Cool Orange 500. Last race was at Bristol and I spun out three times in that race. But considering all that, I still end up with a 16th place finish at Bristol, which I'll definitely take it, considering of all things. Now I go to Martinsville and I'm a little more concerned about this race than Bristol. I did a practice race here and one... Uh, the AI seem to be easy in competition wise however they don't give room at all like especially if you're trying to go into the corner and try to pass them underneath they'll come down onto you at times and it's annoying uh, I've wrecked a couple of times in the practice race because of that um, the car wants to jump sideways on you again like it happened at Bristol coming off the corner the car wants to spin out so I have to keep that in mind so I hopefully hopefully I do well in this race. I I haven't gone a race since Las Vegas that I haven't had a spin. I've spun at Vegas, I've spun at Atlanta, I've spun at Bristol. We might have the same here. We'll see. But point standings before we get into the race. So Casey Mears has a 29 point lead over Dale Nard Jr. I was 24th in points going into Bristol, but with my 21st place finish or 16th place finish. I am 21st in points. 268 points back. And now it's time to go to Martinsville. Um, I'll just see you guys at the track. I'm not going to qualify for this race. I'm going to start dead last. Uh, see what happens here. Uh, I'm going to guarantee you right now I'm probably going to gain a lot of positions here. Um, in a short period of time. Because the AI seems to be easy here for a reason. Except if they don't give you room going into one. But uh if I don't make any mistakes, that's definitely what's going to happen. So let's see what happens to the race. Playing the first lap for the leaders. Regan Smith leads the first lap. And man, did my car did not want to get going at the green flag. The car was sideways. The tires were spinning pretty bad too. Alright, something I'm not going to do here is go three wide into the corner. That would not be a good idea here at Marsville. Um, but as you can see, I've already gained three spots. This is where I'm going to make up most of my of my time is going into the corners and just sending it it's so far so good with that as long as I hit my marks the car will stay to the bottom lane well at this track as long as I hit my marks I should be in good shape and so far so good Clean three laps. I wish David Reagan would clear Patrick Carpentier. And I'm going to get by the 10 card to move up 10 spots in four laps. So, so far so good with that. I'm going to send it in here actually. See if it works. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Please car hang on to it. Well, that was a dumb move by me. That should have not worked. But it kind of did. It, it was ugly though. But... That's something I'm not going to pull off again for the rest of this race. That that was a dumb move by me. That was a little dirty. Oh, I got to slow it. I knew. Oh, what the? It didn't look like I hit the... What? It didn't look like I hit the barrels on my, on my end. It's like I also hit invisible barrels. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to do... Well, it doesn't look like it's going to damage, like, I would say... The chassis and the wheel of my car. Okay, can you guys see? That's that's something I was talking about. These guys will sometimes not give you room going into the corner. That's exactly what Paul Menard did to me. Look, he's going to do it again. Oh, but I get by him. Thank God. So I moved up 15 spots. In 
seven laps. I moved up 15 spots. Oh, I don't think Kabe's gonna give me the room. Oh, he kind of did. I, just, I don't know how I didn't make contact with him. Top five right now, Ryan Newman, Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, Kurt Busch, and Kyle Busch. I don't know how I did not make any contact with Kyle Pay to be honest with you. I should have. But see how many positions I'm gaining? This goes, if this keeps happening, I might get a top 10 finish out of this. But nine laps, I moved up 20 spots. Oh, Hornish didn't look like he was going to give me any room at all. But I did get by him before he came down. Uh oh. Oh, I felt the car jump sideways there. Regan Smith, who led the first lap, is dropping back. He's dropping back to 20th now. And look at that. In 10 laps, I moved up 22 spots. I moved up half the, the field. Tony Stewart is now the race leader. Up to 20th, got by Regan Smith. Oh! Oh! Yep, top 20 right now. There's Casey Mears, the points leader, coming into this race. In 18th right now. And Dale Knight Jr., who's second in points. He's going to drop back to 17th, so you got the top two points together. Jeff Burton is third in points. I don't know where he's at. I know he's up there somewhere. Don't know what position he's at. But this is going well for me right now, guys. This is good. This is good. As long as I don't get in the major trouble in this race, I should be okay. Up to 15th, passing Matt Kitson. Give me room! Look at him coming down into me. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes these, some of these guys will not give me room. Oh, shit! Come on! Oh, and you're gonna tell me I might get black flag for rough driving when they're the ones coming down into me. Yeah, screw off. Son of a bitch. That, you know what, I, I mean, Mark Martin was just trying to get around that lap car, and unfortunately he had nowhere to go, and unfortunately I was there underneath him already. No, I'm staying out. Damn it, dude. Tony Sterling, Gordon second, Kurt Busch third, Ryan Newman fourth, Kyle Busch rounds out the top five, Patrick Carpentier's got the lucky dog. Here we go, back to the restart. Damn, back to 30 second, I was doing so good. Oh, that's four races in a row now that I've had a spin. First two races I didn't have a spin, but last four races I, I've had. Damn it, man. That sucks. I almost got to the top ten before that happened. No, it's all right, Joseph. Still a long way to go. Nope. No need to panic. Shit. I didn't mean to get underneath David Reagan. I didn't know he was going to slow down that much either. Didn't look like I was sending it either. Man, I'm so scared to make contact with anybody now because I'm scared I'm gonna get black flagged When to be honest with you most of these guys that I've made contact with are the ones that are coming down into me Why would you blame that on me? It's not that I expect them to come down on me So now I'm gonna try to gain as many spots back as possible. I feel I can I only got 30 laps to do it. Kyle Busch is the new race leader. Oh, I didn't mention this earlier, but uh, in my practice race, Kyle Petty was leading. He led a couple of laps and then he didn't lead again, but it was like, wow, Kyle Petty leading the race. I mean, if Casey Mears can lead the point things, I guess anything is possible. Jeff Gordon now is the race leader. 
doing a good job recovering and gaining these spots back. I restarted 32nd. I'm up to 23rd now. Oh man, got some lap traffic ahead. That's going to stack this field up. So I really got to be careful right now. Oh, please slow down. You got this custom driver up there that's holding this field up. I'm going to stack everybody up. I wish he goes to the outside lane. He actually goes to the outside lane now, so that's good. Oh, don't make contact. I'm so scared to make contact with anybody at this point because I feel I'm going to get black flagged. Up in the top 20 now. Tell you what, the top three points are all together. All right, thank God. Got around that car. Never mind. Never mind, I'm gonna wash up the racetrack. I'm not getting any room off the corner. Are you kidding me? And now I'm gonna get held up behind this guy. Look how slow he is. And I don't wanna make any contact with them. Oh my God, he's gonna make me spin because I have to lock up the brakes so much. Oh my god, I hate these random custom drivers because they're the ones that doesn't give room most of the time. They're the slowest in the field. And I just got turned. Son of a bitch, dude. That's... I'm getting frustrated now, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna stay out. Oh... No, I'm not going to pit. I'm so tired of feeling like I have good races going, but then all of a sudden, I can't do anything about it because of stupid AIs in this game. Back to 33rd, just where I restarted last time. 20 laps to go. I don't even know if a top 10 is possible at this point. <clears throat> So frustrating and annoying with these AIs, man. Especially the custom drivers. They're the slowest. They're the most annoying. They don't give room at all. They don't care. <coughs> oh my god, I almost hit the barrier. Come on, Joseph. Kyle Busch leading now. I'm going to try it again. Try to gain as many spots as possible. Just coughing all of a sudden. Give me room, Montoya. I'm just frustrated right now. I'm pissed. I'm 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 gonna be aggressive here. I don't want to get aggr that aggressive to the point where I spin myself out, but I'm a little salty right now. So I move out of my way. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Ouch. Oh, Menard wants to come down in front of me. Oh, I'm locking up the brace, which makes the car slide a lot. Oh, my God. Why? And, of course, that one car is on the bottom lane. Going to stack the bottom lane up. Can you give me room, Reed Sorensen? Thank you. See, like, I couldn't really blame Reed Sorensen for turning me because I really got held up by that one custom driver pretty bad. gas halfway on fuel. I'm I'm fine on fuel. Stop making contact with anybody, please. Watch it. 
Glad that car is on the outside lane. Although, is he going to cost me any more problems? He's cost me problems twice in this race. If I'm back inside top 20, he's going to come down on me, huh? Stay up there. Okay, I came up on him. That one was my fault. But I'm up to 17th. I feel I could still race my way to get in the top 10, but we'll see. Kyle Busch, Jeff Gordon, Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, and Jimmy Johnson is the top five right now. Got a couple more custom drivers I have to get by. I just need a good result, please, for once. Mark Martin, please give me one. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna have 10 laps to go this time by. Oh god, the car didn't want to turn there actually. Oh wow, what a what a send. Oh god, the car got tight. Mark Martin's trying to get back by me. <clears throat> but I'm denying that for that to happen. Uh, some of these guys are lapped down already. They're not even for precision. <coughs> oh, Tony. Oh, thank God I got on the brakes hard enough to not get in the inside of him because he was going to come down on me. Okay, he gave me room that time, so that's good. <clears throat> Stop making contact, please. I'm so scared that I'm going to get black flagged. Up to 12. Nice. Ah, oh, Denny Hamlin is for that 10th spot, but he's all the way up there. That sucks! I know I could get around Junior. I don't think I'm going to catch Denny Hamlin in time, though. Underneath Junior for 11th. Damn, Hamlin's all the way up there. There's no way I'm going to catch him. Then this custom driver is a lap down. He's not even for precision. He gives me room, which is nice. Good, thank you. Five laps to go now. Damn it, Hamlin, come here. See, I could have been in the top 10 on a couple occasions had it not been for those spins. Ah... Man, I really messed up the exit of that corner. All right, Joseph. Don't do that either. I know Sadler is a lap down. He's not for position. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I might... Oh, don't hit that curb. I might catch Hamlet. I'm not sure. It's going to be close, though. If I keep hitting my marks, maybe. Oh yeah, I might have a chance. Kyle Busch leads with three laps to go. Oh, Hamlin. Oh, I mean, it's typical Hamlin for you, but that's going to screw me. I, I think that just ended my chances to get top ten. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I might not. He went up the racetrack there. I'm going to try to send it going into turn one here. Two to go. Nice. Got around Hamlin for the 10th spot. All right. And Kyle Busch leads on the white flag. Okay. 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 Oh, God. Car turn. Oh, of course, it's that guy that's ahead of me. I swear, don't you dare cause me any problems. Let me get by you. Oh, Kurt Busch actually got around his brother Kyle Busch on the final lap. And Kurt Busch is actually going to steal the win. Final lap pass at Martinsville. And guess what, guys? I am finally going to get my first top 10 of the season. 10th place here at Martinsville. Yes. Thank God, man. Thank God. 
It took a little while to get a top 10 fish, but I finally did it. I'm so happy I finally got a top 10 finish this season. I should have maybe had a top 10 finish sooner, but you know what? I'm happy that it happened, and uh, that should help me out in the points going into Texas. Let's see the points. Things. Casey Mears only has a five-point lead over Dale Knight Jr. Kurt Busch, who just got the win at uh, Martinsville, uh, he's up to eighth in points, 89 points back. As a matter of fact, top eight in points are is 89 points separation. All right, I was 21st in points. Now I'm 19th in points, 237 back, so I did gain some points, so that's good. I still got a long way to go, though, but hopefully I'll get up there. Just uh, still play more races to go. Texas, uh, you know, I've been to two uh, mile-and-a-half racetracks, and I was just at a racetrack just like Atlanta, that Texas Speedway is kind of the same configuration, so hopefully Texas could go well. So we'll just see what happens. So, guys, next race is going to be at Texas Motor Speedway. I will see you there.